Sonor is and never was always so happy. The writers of the railway series and the TV series only explored the optimistic and upbeat plots. Very rarely did they steer otherwise. This film you're about to watch explores these uncharted territories without any restraints. You may be saddened, offended, angered or a mix of the three, please, watch with discretion. Oh, James, I don't feel well today. Would you please take my trucks for me? I implore you, my pain is significant. No, you old sot. They've expected to do our own jobs and stop complaining and get to work. Come on, Henry, a few more miles and we'll have a good rest. Oh, I don't think I can do it, driver. You've got to try, Henry. The back controller is counting on us. Henry, are you alright? He's unconscious. Pipe in his smoke box first. Call the Alpha Media and tell them to send two engines. Oh, Henry. Tell me it isn't so. What? What's happened? Nothing, Percy. Please take the trucks back to Tidmouth. But Edward, please! Percy, go! I... Uh... Hello, Percy. I received a call from up the line Henry's trucks are being brought back. He's in pretty bad shape, Percy. What? What's wrong? How best to hurry to Vickers Town, Percy. They're the closest sheds around here. I don't think they'll have time to get to Nanford. Don't have time? Oh, no. Don't go any further, Percy. You'll only experience more heartbreak. No, I want to see him. No, Percy, it's too late. No, it's never too late. Percy! Don't you realize why it's so silent around here? The burst was too large. It caused a crack in his smoke box. Thomas. Percy, I'm, I'm sorry. Take Percy back to the station. He doesn't need to be here. Right, Thomas. He's really gone. Oh, come on, Thomas. Let's go and let... Him. 
and let him rest in peace. All right, Gordon. You can't hear me, but I can't say how sorry I am that I didn't help you earlier. The last thing I called you was an old sot. Oh, Henry, I'm so sorry. Have changed, tastes have changed. It has been five long years ever since Henry's passing. The country has moved into the Second World War, and the war effort was in full swing. The Fed Controller and his associates realized that this would inevitably lead them into bankruptcy. Well, gentlemen, I have noticed from these figures that the revenue has gone down lately. I know in the last 20 years I have been working on Sodor, but we have never raised prices unless inflation demanded it, and the demand for rail travel has increased in the last decade. What do you presume is the culprit? Well, sir, ever since the unfortunate passing of Henry, and seeing as you sow those other two engines to Doncaster, the sales have gone down in spite of limited resources to supply transportation. Well, the only alternative to filing bankruptcy is to invest in another engine. But sir, that will lead us to bankruptcy. It's risky, but what other choice do we have, gents? I'd much rather go out knowing that I've tried my best to show improvement, rather than giving in like a ripe pillock. The engine filed into Knapford early next morning. Right, we're all to show up here for what reason? There's all a passenger in sight and I'm still tired. Shh, we didn't come here to hear you complain for what that's worth. Oh, shut off, you little blue rat. Oh, here's the fat controller. He must have called us here. Oh, joy. Right, sorry to call you all here so early. As you all can tell, the railway's not doing so well financially. At the last resort, I have called you all here to greet our newest member to the railway. Granted, he's coming all the way from Stratford in Greater London, but he left last night and should be arriving sometime in the next few minutes. Here is Alfred, 
It was made in the old Great Eastern Railway Works in Stratford, in Britain. Hello, Alfred. Welcome to the railway. I already don't like him. Oh, be quiet. Later that night, the engines were fast asleep. However, at one point in the night, Alfred left the shed. This awoke Gordon, who then fell back to sleep. I got you now. This gun is out on the night before you reach well. Oh, God! Gordon was frightened and deeply angered by this dream. He told it to Thomas later that week. What? Wow, that's a nightmare! What scares me is the realism. I saw everything. It's just a nightmare, Gordon. They happen and we can't anticipate them. I'm going to keep an eye on them, though. Something doesn't bode well with them. Gordon's skepticism deprived him of sleep, so much so, he got up one night and idled in Knopfit's good shed. Alright, you can stay here. Perhaps you can get some sleep now. I'm going home. It's rather late. Alright, driver. Gordon then noticed two figures in the station platform. One was Alfred and the other was indistinguishable. Wait, driver, come back! It's been several years ever since Henry's, uh, accident. It's come to my attention that the gunpowder is arriving soon. Soon? You're not thinking of doing it now, are you? Not quite yet. We still need to give the engines time to accept me as one of their own. They never suspected foul play, so they won't suspect little old me of anything. You're very sly. We better leave now, it's almost light. Good idea. Good night, my brother. Gordon thought it best not to talk about what he had heard. The next morning, he and Alfred were double-heading a special to England. Gordon, what are we going to do? You leave it to me. Henry was my friend and I won't let this happen, whatever it is. The two then set off for Britain. Gordon felt nervous, yet hatred grew inside them as they went along. You are a quiet one, aren't you? I'm just tired is all. I barely slept last night. Gordon's driver perked up. Gordon grimaced as he felt Alfred's buffers go cold. Nice trip, wasn't it? Alfred said nothing. The coaches were taken away and the two engines went to the sheds to rest. There were no other engines there. So, you were built in Stratford, huh? That's right. I knew a B-12. He came from those works with the build number 98462. The fat controller scrapped him, though. As he was rude and almost caused a big accident. The Fat Controller has that power, you know. So what? Well, this engine nearly, shall I say, caused a fatal accident in relation to Henry. Alfred poked up an angry look on his face. You foolish A3. You heard last night, didn't you? Yes, I did. I know all about your little scheme. You want all the engines to like you, and then the railway goes up in smoke. They're smarter than Mac, you know. Apparently not. 
The Fat Controller has designated me to pull the Wild North West of them now. They trust me with their lives. The Fat Controller wants you as far away from the railway as possible, more likely. If that's so, then how did they not suspect me about Henry's death, hmm? They sound pretty ignorant to me. The weak engine with all the problems. I knew he was a failed experiment, and that they would never suspect foul play. You'll never touch them, not as long as I'm around. You can't stop this, you fool! A chain of gunpowder wagons are being propelled forcefully towards the sheds this very instant. I'll stop it. You shut! I shall destroy your railway, and my class will take over. Enjoy the guilt. Oh my word! We'll shut up and give me back on! The workman lifts him back on the rails. With a loud whistle, he pounded the rails back towards Sodor. We didn't know the gunpowder vans. Well, shunt them into the sidings or figure out something. Oh god, I need more speed, driver! You were going a hundred, the rails can't handle anymore! I don't care, just do it! Gordon's regulator was open further, and he pounded the rails with a massive noise. Just a few more minutes, and it'll happen. We're at the border, just a few more miles. I thought you were goners. Same with us, Gordon. I was on Thomas Branch line with Annie and Clara, but when it happened, I couldn't see that much of the aftermath, but I saw a black tender engine went by heading towards the mainland. Douglas and I were returning from Wellsworth from taking a good train there. On the trip back, we hear the explosion and we met Duck here. Where's Toby? I'm right here, Gordon. And I saw you pass by earlier when I was at Tidmouth after I heard the explosion. Where are the others? According to one of the police officers, Thomas Percy, James and Edward were at Mathworth. He told me that they were caught in the blast and didn't have a chance to survive from the blast of the explosion. You don't mean there! I'm not sure, Gordon, but one of us has to go and see for themselves. Well, I'm going in. Engines died in Knopf for Tuesday evening, as well as 15 station employees. The cause of the explosion were four loaded gunpowder vans, placed by an unknown engine. Thomas, Edward, James and Percy will be remembered for their work on the railway. They've always been loyal, friendly, and have always had the initiative to get the job done. They were truly remarkable engines. A credit to the Northwestern Railway or any railway for that matter. We can only assume that this heartless attack on our railway was done by Alfred the Holden B-12-3. A terrible choice on my part, I must say. As a result, I will be resigning later this week. I cannot bear the shame I've wrought upon this island. 
Gordon, there's nothing you could have done given the circumstances. I know, but I still feel partially guilty. Alas, I also feel forlorn. I have a sudden feeling things can only get worse from here on out. You do know this stupid attempt may well have put our funnels under the guillotine. You ordered it, Cecil. I never once said 98462 go and destroy a goddamn station. You killed nearly 20 people from what I heard. You have been too cold-hearted. You killed innocent people, exactly the opposite of what I expected from you. You will be dealt with. You will be followed wherever you go and any attempt at destroying anyone else will mean the end of you. Not Cecil. Who could have done this, do you reckon, Gordon? It's dreadfully obvious, isn't it? Alfred. It's time, Toby. Do you think you're up to it? If it means avenging my old friends, then yes, Gordon. However, we will strike when the moment is right. There have been several bombings on the Northwestern Railway and the mainland. We've recently gotten information that the camera shed on the Southern Railway was destroyed this morning. Two crew were injured, one fatally wounded. Twelve coaching stock have been destroyed. We will elaborate on this bombing when we have more information on the matter at hand. Why would he be bombing such conspicuous places? He wants to get rid of any sources that might link back to him. That's quite possible. If that's the case, Gordon, then I'm afraid some of your brothers on the only R will be next. My god, you're right, Toby. We've got to move. It's too late, Gordon. If he is already progressing past the Southern Railway, he'll be at Settled Station before we even get to the mainland. Not if we use the fast line. Indeed, but I can't go at those speeds. No matter, Toby. You and I are both only R born. We are made for those speeds. Okay, but if I break down... You must promise to keep going and finish the job. Agreed. There are no trains scheduled until tomorrow. Let's fill up on water and coal and get moving. I need to hide here for the time being. I'm being watched, and I can't be seen. Very well, get in the shed. Bloody hell, did you feel that? Yes, Alfred is near. This is absurd. How could my plan have backfired so badly?
Look, it's one of our own. How are you doing, mate? Very well, thank you. I'm looking for a bit of a rest. Can you show me the shed? Certainly. I have a terrible feeling. Gordon, you're faster. You must get to the only R soon. I'll stay here. Go! But Toby, we both want to avenge- You gave me your word as an engine, Gordon. Go! You have a much better reason to do the job than I do. Very nice sheds, my cousins. Thank you, number three. Well, you just recently built. I haven't seen you around here. You could say that. I'm sorry, gents, but I must go now. Everyone, get out! There's a bomb in there! Blast! Well, goodbye, Gordon, and thanks for ruining my plans once again. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. I'm taking you with me. What? No! Oh no, Gordon! I heard and came too late as well, my friend. He's a hero, he is. Killed the bomber himself. Now I'm the only one on our railway left. Rubbish, you can come and work with us. It's the least we could do. For the brave fleet of locomotives known as the Fat Controller's Engines.